My name is Congresswoman Carol McCarthy, and I'm here to tell you that I lost my husband, Dennis, December 7, 1993, and my son, Kevin, was shot. We did not think my son would ever live. I'm one of the lucky mothers. My son did live. And as this mother day comes, uh, I remember all the children that will not have the hug of their mothers because they have died. Uh, I am one of the lucky ones, and that's why I will continue to fight to reduce gun violence in this country. I've gone through it, and that was 20 years ago. You do not forget. It never goes away. Uh, people sometimes will say to me, how did you get through it? You know, I, I was just an ordinary housewife, nurse. Um, how did I get through it? Because uh, I was fighting for my son's life. Uh, and when he was learning how to speak again, like my friend Gabby Giffords, he said, how? Why? And I didn't have the answers. And that's when I became an activist. And I'm saying to the American people, and I'm saying to every mom and everyone out there that cares about this issue, you too can become an activist. You don't have to go to Congress. But you know what? Call your member of Congress. Email them. They want to hear from you. Because we already see that those that are hearing from the American people, it's making a difference. You know, I, th I think there are a lot of things that we can do to make our community safer from gun violence. Uh, let's go with the background checks. Uh, why shouldn't everybody go through a background check? Uh, the majority of our gunners in this country already do. Uh, but we know at least 40%, those that go to gun shows or those that buy their guns over the internet, they don't go through a background check. Why should law-abiding citizens have to do this, and yet we're allowing so many people not have to do it? Let's get this bas the, these bills passed in the Senate. Let's get it over here in the House, and let's show a certain group, and I'll call them by the, who they are, the radical NRA members. Let's show them that we also have voices, and we want enough is enough. This time, it is different. I understand if people don't remember my husband, but I'm going to make sure that everybody remembers every single child from Newtown. Don't ever forget Newtown. Please, let your voices be heard. Call your senator. Call your congressman. Say that you want to make sure that gun safety laws are passed so that your family doesn't have to go through what my family has gone through.